Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us make a quiz application using Python. So let me show you a demo for this project. So to run it, let us say python quiz.py and press enter. Now you will be presented with a couple of questions for which the answer is only a boolean. So the answer is either true or it is false. So JavaScript is a programming language that powers the web. So true and press enter. So correct answer. And the current score is one. Next question, false false and then you keep on answering them so let me mark false for all so here you can see the current score is 7 so our final score is 7 okay because we had one wrong answer and 7 correct answers now I have already prepared a data.py file where we have these questions so it's an array of dictionaries and each dictionary in turn represents a question where we have the question property and the correct answer property. So each of these two properties constitute a question dictionary, right? So now we are clear with the data that we have. Let us start with the implementation of our quiz. Now here let us first understand how our quiz application will basically function. So I will be creating two classes. So one will be question class and the second one will be our quiz class. Now each of our question will have two properties, the question text and the question answer. And this entire thing will represent a question. So the question's text, basically the question itself and the solution for that question, which will be either true or false. So for this, we will be using a dictionary. Now for quiz, we need to load up the quiz with a couple of such questions where the questions will be an array of such questions. So a list of questions. So I'm using these curly braces to represent dictionaries. So each question will be a dictionary that you can represent using curly braces. And each question will further have these two properties. So we will have the questions for our quiz. And then we will have the current score of the user who is playing the quiz. And then we will also have a question number which is the current question number that the user is currently on. Make sense? So these questions, we will be getting them from our data.py file. So let us start with the implementation now. So as a very first step, let us import the quiz data. So from data import quiz underscore data. So which is basically this array. Now let me first define the model or you can say the class for the question. So how should our question look like? So basically our question should have a question text and then it should have a question answer. So class question and then we need to define the constructor function. So init double underscore and this will take on the self as the first argument. Question text as the second argument and the question answer as the third argument so self dot question text set this to question text and self dot question answer set this to question answer now as a next step let us create a new function and name it as main and in here what i will do is i'll first create a empty array of questions and then whatever data that we got from the data.py file which is our quiz data let us iterate over that so for question in quiz underscore data so we will cycle over all the questions that are there in our quiz data so each time we will pick a question and then run the following code that is there inside the for loop so the very first step is to extract the question property for the current question that we are on so for that we can say question which refers to our current question so the dictionary and we want the question property for that so we get the current question and let us store that in a variable let's name it as question text next we need to get the 
correct answer for the current question that we are on so question correct answer and let us store this in a variable let's name it as question answer now the next step is to create a question based on this blueprint right so what we need to do is we need to pass this question text and the question answer that we are getting from the current question and we need to frame a question from these two fields and that question will be based on this blueprint make sense so here let us say prepared question and here we need to call our constructor so question and pass the question text to it and the question answer like this now whatever question that we prepared let us commit that to our questions list so questions dot append prepared question so now to test this out let me print the questions right here questions are now loaded and here let us say questions so let us give this a whirl so python quiz dot py and press enter so here we need to call our main function and now let us give this a whirl so here you can see it says that questions are now loaded and we are getting an array of question objects right and each question object you can see sitting at some memory address so this is our list of questions so now we have set up our questions in the questions list now as a next step let us define our quiz class so feel free to try this on your own so class quiz and then define our constructor function and here the self keyword and the questions so self dot questions set this to the questions so whatever questions we are having right here we will pass that to our new instance of the quiz that we will be creating based on this blueprint right but before that let us define some partial implementation for our quiz then self dot current score set this to zero so the current score to begin with is zero and self dot question number which is the current question that we are on so let us set this to zero because in the start there are no questions presented to us so the question number is zero make sense now here let us now define a method right inside our quiz class which is the load next question and here pass the self keyword and what this method does is that it picks on a specific question and load that question for us so what we need to do here is that we refer to our questions list and then self dot question number so the question number in the start is set to zero so self dot questions of zero refers to the first question of this array or list so this gives us the current question then we also need to increment the question number by one so self dot question number plus equals one now based on this dictionary that we are getting right here in the current question variable we need to prepare a question so let me create a variable prepared question and here let us say q dot then use a placeholder zero colon placeholder one and we will replace these placeholders using the format method so dot format and here we need to pass the question number which will be one so the first question will have an index of zero in the quiz data array but in the ui that we will get in our terminal there it will be question one right that's why we incremented the question number property of our quiz instance by one so the first question will be one and not zero so that is why this increment on line 16 and then to get the question text which we will interpolate right here we can say current question dot question text so now we are done with framing up of our question let us define a variable user answer and let us create a method in our class ask question and to it let us pass our prepared question so this is the question that we want to ask the user right inside the terminal so for this we need to use the input method or input function self and question so here let us simply return input and to it pass the question that we are receiving right here so whatever answer the user gives us inside the terminal we tab that and store that in the user answer variable and then 
let us call the method check for correctness that I will define in just a minute and to this we need to pass the user answer and the current questions correct answer which is there in the question answer property of the current question make sense so let us go right here and define the method check for correctness and this will receive two arguments the user answer and the correct answer so if the user answer and let us apply the strip method on it to basically remove the extra padding that is there on the left and right of the user answer if any and then we need to convert that to lowercase and let us check it against the correct answer so correct answer dot strip dot lower like this so if our user answer matches the correct answer then we need to increment our score by one so self dot current score plus equals one and then here let us print correct answer else if the answer that the user gives does not match with the answer that is the correct one then we print incorrect answer and let us come out of this if check and here let us print using an if string correct answer colon correct underscore answer and then let us also print the current score so self dot current score now the next step is to load our question in the terminal so for that let us create a quiz instance based on our quiz class and pass the questions to it and then call the quiz dot load next question method like this so now let us give this a whirl so python quiz dot py so it says javascript is the programming language that powers the web true and presenter and then it immediately stops so it doesn't ask us for the next questions so what is the problem here so the problem here is that we are not looking for other questions we just load up the first question by calling the load next question method we present it to the user in the terminal then the user gives an answer we check for its correctness and then this code runs the answer that we gave was correct so correct answer gets locked to the terminal and the correct answer and current score are printed next to the terminal and right after that we have no other code to run so it stops makes sense now to load other questions we need to check whether our current question number is less than the total number of questions that we have in our quiz so if that is the case then we want to load other questions as well one by one so which means that we need to go to our class and here we need to just add a simple check has more questions and pass on the self keyword so if the question number that we are currently on is less than the total number of questions that we have so the len function self dot questions so this is our check and we need to leverage it right here we have more so as long as our quiz has more questions then we need to make sure that we continue to load the current question until we are done with our list of questions and right after this let us print to the terminal great attempt your final score is quiz dot current score so now let us give this a whirl so python quiz dot py and press enter so let me answer them real quick true false okay so this worked fine so it says great attempt your final score is five so we got five out of these eight questions so five out of eight so this was a very simple quiz application that we made in this video so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you have any query don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the very next one